on the Mini Merlot. It's low on fuel, probably because I've been using it all day yesterday. But to be honest, it was low when it got into it, and I couldn't fill it up yesterday because we had a power cut for about three hours and we couldn't get diesel out of the tank. Selfie wall construction. Just putting all the signs out. And then I'm going to get the jury picker and put the entrance sign up as well. Was a jury picker, now it's a sign. Can he flat out? Big JCB on the job, taking some bales in for people to sit on. Got me a stapler, it's taking shape. Jury picker sign, just setting the mirror up. Oh, we're out going back. There's a wagon coming for Bali as well. There he is. Get him to do the horn. <laughs> a lot of barley going out. Look at that. Got some fencing up as well to stop people sneaking in. Staying the fast track down, like you say, dress it up now. Do you remember that outro the other day with the John Deere combine, the truck? Well, Harry did it and he's here, he's been to the maze and now he's going to get on the combine and have a quick look at it. You going to say hello? <laughs> Adam's dusting the track down with the Bateman because it's basically been dusty. <laughs> so we're just putting some water on it to stop the dust because people are flying down this track here. Flying down this track and the dust blowing into the field there, making the sunflowers dirty. So we're just dribbling a bit of water on it and the nozzles on as well. Oh, I thought he was going to make that sign, but he just got around it in the last minute. I wonder if we put pod stick in with the water, it has lasted longer and made it less muddy and dry, it won't dry out as quick. Does anyone know? There's Jury Picker Richard picking the muck spreader up. The Matic. Definitely stopped the dust. That's 4,000 litres of water to the hectare. But it, like I say, I wonder if pod stick work and make it sort of like all sticky stop the dust. Pod sticks what we put on the oilseed rape to stop the pods shattering, it's like a glue. Track looking cool with its sunflowers, ice cream man's here. And there's the selfie wall, taking shape, just got a sign coming at the top later. Bailing benches are out, mini maze, there's really big bales. Car park filling up. Got the drill on. Gonna go and drill some summer barley into some barley stubble and some sunflowers and see what happens. Andrew's just driving around the yard. Going and dropping this compost off for the village hall. Just looking at the um, drill, it looks ridiculous in the yard. It's huge. New floor in the village hall. Green wall now. Doors going in there, glass doors. That's what the old floor used to look like. Carpet down there. Those are planters as well. Full green. And so it begins, harvest 2022, but really it's not, this is still harvest 2021 going in. So now we're drilling spring barley into winter barley stubble. I've done it before, sometimes we can harvest it. First year we harvested it, the second year it got the back, the weather was too bad and it went flat and we didn't harvest it. This year, we're 20 days later than the first time I tried it. I think I did it on like the 7th of July last time. Oh no, it's only the 21st actually. But we're definitely two weeks behind, but it makes the soil so much better if it's had a crop grown in it all winter. So that's why we're doing it. And also we're trying something a bit different. Not only are we drilling spring barley, we're also drilling sunflowers around the headland as well, just to see how they'll grow in, in this late on in the year. They obviously like hot weather, but do they like it, um, dry weather, you should do because they're continental. Plenty of dust, it's plenty dry enough. On Monday, it's going to rain. Sorry, on Tuesday, it's going to rain and most of the week. So, hopefully, it'll get it off to a good start and then we'll see what happens. We're going to have a closer look at the drill. So, the front hopper about there, that's full of sunflower seeds, and then the other hopper, that's full of barley. Well, it's split into two, but what? Well, that one's got barley in. So, it's going to turn off the front sunflowers, 
then turn on the barley blow it down this tube that's going to cut a slice that's going to put it in the floor that's going to pack it in that's going to close the slot and if you look it's already done here but it's hard to see where it's been because it's minimal disturbance so it's just setting off now down the first tram line through the field after he's been around the outside twice and done the headland i'm going to take a picture actually that's just a guide wheel stopping it sinking in there's the disc cutting the slot stopping the seed in pressing it down it actually needs to go a bit deeper it's not actually put it into any moisture there it's, it was last time we were using the drill it was set up for drilling into the worked ground for the sunflowers so we need to make some adjustments but to be honest i probably won't bother being as how it's going to rain on tuesday so it should be all right get up and away quicker if it's in the surface as long as the birds don't eat it between now and then see the dust coming off right we are going to put it a bit deeper so you just lift this handle up and lift that little wheel up there and that puts it deeper far easier than the John Deere used to be that used to be a nightmare and you'd be climbing underneath yourself as well there's Charlotte fixing the watering cans that was my idea from last year then the top now we've got astro turf on it and little sunflowers stapled on there's the selfie wall all complete complete with its new sign at the top then there's a big rustle now as <laughs> falling off a bale of straw <laughs> Did you hear that funny noise? That was Annalise falling off the straw. <laughs> it's enough of the maze today. Let's go combining. Drill's now tucked up in the shed after drilling 20 acres in about 45 minutes. In two different varieties of things as well. You know, sunflowers and barley. Just out with the combine now. Go and cut some wheat. It's in this field now. Got to cut it so that they can put the fence around it because it's another one that's going for houses. Again, wish I owned it. Uh, see the pigeons there, all landed in the tram line, and I don't know if you can see, but over there and here, they're totally eating all the wheat between the tram lines. Looks a cracking field of wheat as well, so it'd be nice to finish on a high for this field anyway. Just a bit green down there, it's gonna take some drying. That has been totally eaten by pigeons in the tram lines. And then this, I don't know what you can see on the camera. Pretty green, but like I say, they want to put a fence around the outside, so we're gonna, gonna cut it before it gets flattened. Be nice if the whole field had averaged that, but I don't think it will. And it's probably because it's wet and about 20% moisture. Yeah, I'm just going for the middle now on this tram line that the pigeons have been eating. So Harry that was looking at the combine before that visited the sunflower maze with his dad and his sister made the outro last week and he's in the outro today. He wanted to be a footballer but now he wants to be a farmer. So that's good. Because to be a footballer I think you need to learn how to act, don't you? Then you can roll on the floor pretend you've been injured. Farming's a far better, better career choice. So that's what it should look like. And that's what happens when the pigeon's moving. It looks like some of the hailstone fields that they've had in Essex. They've been hit by hailstone and it's knocked everything on the floor and there's nothing left devastating for them out there but yeah they can see they've landed in the tram line pulled it down and just started eating out into the field so if you imagine before the yield was like reading about 11 tons to the hectare now we're down to 7.8 8.09 just from the pigeons Adam's moving ahead of trailer out the crop because it was in the crop because Andrew brought it before so that we could he's just keeping an eye on that so it doesn't twist because it bent one once before but yeah we're going to cut this bit now make a bit of a space we'll drop this fence in but Andrew brought the header up before on the Merlot while the fast track was in the sunflower maze pigeons have totally eaten that tram line as well it's so stubborn you can see them landing them out here there they go they've just flew off then as I went over a bump must have made a bit of a rattle and bang so they flew off so just thinking actually about about this footballer thing people are watching what do you want to do when you grow up or what are you doing now or what did you want to do when you grow up let me know below
I do read all the comments. I might not have time to reply to every one of them, but I do read them all. So if you're going to leave one, it will get read. Also, don't forget to click like as well and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Because I think 50% of the people that watch each day aren't actually subscribed. Random fact. Another bit eaten by pigeons. Just empty now into Andrew. But because this feels so big, it's 50 acres all the way around the outside. We have, we've had to empty twice on the way around, so I have to cut a bit back up, then cut a jog in, and then let him come alongside. The old combine, because the spout wasn't as long, we just folded out a little bit behind the header, but the other day we knocked that one off because it was catching the side of the trailer, so we've not cut it down yet. But when we do, we'll be able to what we call harvest non stop, because at the moment we have to just do this to, to keep going. So I can't wait to know what the middle of the field yields. Back at HQ now, just following the trailer to the Weybridge. After cutting the headlands off that field, he's just driven straight past the Weybridge. Better tell him to weigh it. Yeah, so cut the headland around the outside. They can now put the fence up for the, whatever the developers are doing, and then hopefully we'll get the middle before they start building houses on it. Hope you've enjoyed today. Busy day at the May, even busier tomorrow by the looks of the bookings. If you want to watch another video, you click there. If you want to subscribe, you click over there. And, um, I'll see you all tomorrow and thanks for watching. Oh yeah, what we've cut today was 30% moisture, so it's going to take some drying.